The last two days, we looked at equivalent fractions. We said that equivalent fractions were fractions that have the same value. For example, two fourths is equivalent to one half because two fourths and one half have the same value. Today, we're going to compare fractions. This means we're going to look at fractions that do not have the same value. And we're going to ask ourselves, which fraction is greater? We've compared numbers before. So we've asked ourselves which number is greater. For example, we've said 18 is greater than 12. We've also said 47 is less than 52. When we use these greater than and less than symbols, we are comparing numbers. Today, we're comparing fractions. So we're asking ourselves, which fraction is greater? So let's look at 4 sixths and 2 sixths. I'm going to drag this over here so that we can see our fraction strips. I notice that both of these fractions have a 6 in the denominator. So I'm going to look at my 1 6 unit fraction. I'm going to use it to build 4 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4 6. There, in that row, I represented the fraction 1, 2, 3, 4 6. Now, I'm going to represent 2 6 in the row below. 1, 2, 2 6. I notice that 4 6 is greater than 2 6. It has a greater value. So I can come over here and I can fill in 4 6 is greater than 2 6. Let's try one more together. This time, I'm talking about eighths. I'm going to come over and remove my six from my presentation oops, so that I can oops, start over. I need to represent one eighth. I'm going to drag one eighth to the first row. Now I need to represent two eighths. One eighth, two eighths. I notice that two eighths is greater than one eighth. So I can write my symbol. One eighth is less than two eighths. Two eighths is greater than one eighth. You can use fraction strips to help you compare fractions throughout today's activity as you ask yourself which fraction is greater and which fraction is less.